continuing the ban of the Crusade. Able to slay one of Indianapolis's best players. Now sets his sights on St. Louis's number one player, yep. Blazing Sky. Who I have not had the privilege to commentate yet, so this should be fun. Yeah. And Atata, of course, uh, wh what did he get at the last Show Me Your Moves? Like fourth? Third. Third. He made it to winner's finals, recall. Yeah, that that was crazy. Uh, yeah, Atata on his way to a repeat performance, or so he hopes. So we're starting on Battlefield. Uh, platforms help out Bayo. Last zones. It's nice for Ness not to get comboed off the top, but, you know, it can hurt with the later backdoor kills, but... So we know Atata's game plan in this matchup, right? Pretty uh -huh. pretty much. He just wants to use these aerials to space. Yep. And just kind of react to Bayo's options. What do you think Blazing Sky has to do differently than Cells did? Uh, well, if you watched the Atata versus Tyroy set, which was a complete destruction in Tyroy's favor, uh, Tyroy was just kind of, like, comboing him really hard. Like, Ness is weird to combo because he's floaty and he has a really good air dodge. And he uh, has those, like, quick, like, neutral air-esque options. <gasps> so, you do definitely need to know what to go for against Ness. We didn't see that as much in the Cells that had a match. And we're not quite seeing it here either. Uh, no, Atad is just really boxing super well here versus Blazing Sky. Also, uh, the big reason Atada beat Cells was, like, Atada has his, like, crazy, like, Ness specific super early kill setups that you kind of got to like know about and like uh -huh. know the matchup well enough to deal with. Uh, cells fell into them right when Atada needed Cells to fall into them, like that game. <gasps> oh, that was- Was that a shield poke? No, he, he just made him blink. Wow. He, he did the auto cancel dare. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What the heck just happened? I'm also fairly certain that was untackable. No! No freaking way! Atata, you're a monster! Oh, and the crowd going nuts there. They're losing it. That was insanity. Alright! <laughs> Good start for Atata. Crazy, and Final Destination could be the pick here. Blazing Sky has to get something started. That game went from zero to bad in a real bad yeah. way. Yeah, it was going just fine, you know? Your slight disadvantage, and then suddenly... Yeah, he did that auto cancel dare on the first shot, just yeah. to make him blink. And Blazing Sky definitely blinked. Uh huh. And maybe blinked twice. Yikes! What a crazy game one. Moving on to game two here. A little bit more even start right now. Tata not getting too much started. Yeah, I like the way Blazing Sky is playing this neutral. Not really committing to anything. Don't. Okay, I was I was scared there. I liked I liked Tata turning that around and just throwing the PK Thunder two at Blazing Sky because he had that perfect angle to really get in the way. Uh huh. But yeah, what I was saying before, Ness kind of tends to struggle with sword characters, and Bayo doesn't quite uh, have a sword per per se, but he's got disjoints. So if you can leverage those, that's uh -huh. really what you want to do against Ness. He's got oh, a counter like a sword character. That too. wow, he died the. Which twist afterburner kick towards the end there so phenomenally to prevent any follow-ups from occurring. This is back throw territory here. We're not gonna see it from this positioning on the stage. Whoa. But he just gets the jump get up anyway. Atata looking super clean in game two. Yep, that jump's a good option, but sometimes you just need to do the immediate air dodge to not get caught. But and Atata can cover that jump and roll at the same time with that uh -huh. big old Mario up smash of an up air. Although, if you jump air dodge, it's very difficult to punish with that particular setup. But Blazing Sky doing just fine, keeping up the pressure, capitalizing not, like, incredibly off of these hits, but well enough. No! Wow! Not enough. Good DI again from Matata, and gonna yeah. use that oval. Uh-huh. Blazing Sky wisely not messing with it after last game. Oh! Reads the DI back and gets the forward air anyway. Yeah, we've, we've seen him read that DI a couple of times against Cells as well. Excellent play from Atata here. But he finds himself in a, a kind of not an enviable position here in game two. Oh, he wanted the jab reset. 
Oh, he wants it so much. <laughs> yeah, those Nairs out of shield, they have, oh. they have one goal at the end of the day, which is seal the stock. Oh, because he had been grabbed a second ago, he couldn't be grabbed again, so the witch time could not be punished mid-witch time. Okay, scary stuff. Oh, drifts back. Great drift from Atata. He's falling back into the St. Louis getting out for their number one. But the I think the crowd is overwhelmingly in favor of the PK boy. Uh-huh. Next back throw should kill here if Ness can get a grab. Oh! Yo! Hitbox is still out. Item priority means that up smash will not connect. Ness still has to take his time here. Okay. Very excellent recovery from Matata. Not drifting. That's it! That's the 2 0 lead. Play wow, Atata was oh so behind that game. Maybe you can hear this crowd. They are going pretty loud for their boy Atata. They're all fans of him after last year. Uh huh. Looking all for right. him to make a long run. Looks like a color counter pick coming out from Blazing Sky. Respectable. Sometimes you need that just to clear your head. All right. Going to Lilac Cruise and committing to the bullets, I like it. I, I like it a lot. What's Ness going to do? Ness doesn't have too much to actually do about that. He is so slow. Short and stubby. Yep, no range, no mobility. Just a sad, sad little boy. But Atata putting it work right now in the set, getting a 2-0 lead. But this is really Blazing Sky's chance to turn it around. Yep, another adaptation we're seeing from Blazing Sky is before he was trying to aggressively put pressure on Tanessa, kind of use his like overwhelmingly bigger hitboxes, just box him out. Now he's just standing back and waiting for Atata to commit to an approach and then punish again. Oh, Lilat cancel! That's another good reason to pick Lilat. Uh, the tilting, ruining the jab lock. Not sure it would have killed anyway, but you know, that tipper baseball bat's crazy. So yeah, I, I was fully expecting that to get. <gasps> Whoa! A tower Atata. spot, though. Uh, oh! Fantastic timing on that get up. Okay. But now Again, that the lead is dwindled, Blazing Sky cannot be as comfortable staying back. He's this is also, looking like game two. Yeah, he's getting a little nervous because Atata is finding ways to hit him even when he's not committing to things. That. Just brushing through Ow. and the rage helping out Atata, taking another stock up Blazing Sky, looking to That's finish exact. up the set. Will it be another 3-0? Or will St. Louis hold in this game three? I mean, without the lead, and especially without the stock lead, Blazing Sky definitely has his work come out, cut out for him. It's one unfortunate SD away. Oh. Oh, he almost got the re-grab, but it's going to cost him. And yep. there, St. Louis getting out for their boy. When you're that close to the down tilt, really nothing can save you. No, he had nowhere to go. Oh, boy. What and an easy way to even it up. But Atata SDIs with all of his might and does not die. All right, and here comes Atata again, looking for, <laughs> looking for some cheese. Looking he for knows. some smoked Gouda. Knows his win conditions. But now the Blazing Sky has the lead again. He can just count on the guns. <laughs> oh. Look at Ness try to run in. He's just like, I'm I'll gonna get go there. as fast as I can. I got this. <laughs> All right. Oh. Such a fast option. You can't reaction with time neutral air unless it's like far away and you drift in. So. Whoa. These yo-yos have not landed, wow. but whoa, sneaking behind with the back air. Not enough to kill, though. So scary for both players. Good bail combo could end it all, but we're back to a percent. Not going to get not the full enough. extension there from the It started the super seat. low, so he would have had to do a, like, a reset in order to get that combo all the way to the top. Ness doesn't have to approach. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's got to get kind of close, though. He can't let Blazing Sky just shoot the guns with no consequence. And that's it. Giving it the full juice, and the witch time going to get Blazing Sky on the board.
Yep. That was one of those opportunities where Atata realized, okay, if this hits, I win the game. If this doesn't work, I lose the game. But I'm up 2 0. So I'm. That's the situation you go for it. Yeah, I don't disagree with that the challenge at all. Uh huh. It was not a bad play at all. It just didn't. Ha it just didn't happen to work out. But yeah. Atata's fine with that. Now it's his counter pick. Yes, Blazing Sky has to win two games in a row on Atata's third stage. Of oh. course, minus one van. So all here right. we go to final destination. Gentlemaning out of DSR because this was the last stage Atata won on. Right? Yeah, it was. Okay, but again, I I just don't think DSR is a thing. Whoa, is the jump gone? It is, but okay. <laughs> I don't I think it was. I thought <laughs> Bayo has 80 jumps, so Blazing Sky's fine. That was an excellent trap, though, from Ada regardless. Yeah, Ness, with his projectiles, can actually form some semblance of an edge guard against Bayonetta. It's not something Bayo players are used to. Yeah, you're not allowed to edge guard free necessarily in this matchup. I'm pretty sure that back door at the ledge would have been the stock. No jump for Atata, but he just finds his way home. And that quick neutral air coming out so fast, buying Atata so much space. I kind of want to see Atata go for like the... Okay, it's going to do it? No, he's going to go for the fourth throw instead. Not from center stage. I want to see Atata go for what Ned was doing versus the Bayos, which was sneaking out that up air mid-string when you SDI the right way. Uh-huh. But Ness isn't nearly as big. That's going to be a bit tougher. Oh. oh. I don't know what Atata was thinking. Spooky he stuff. Had, he had something in mind there. Oh, boy. Again, phenomenal DI from Atata. Not even SDI there. He just knew where to put himself so he didn't die. It's PK Thunders buying Ness pretty much the free recovery when he's right next to the stage, which is uh -oh. not what a lot of people can say about their characters in this matchup. That was SDI, though. But Atata getting juggled left and right. Three spots. Oh, if he had expected that to happen, that was a free back throw. But... From downtown. I don't do need it. your hands out. <laughs> oh, and aggression coming out here from Blazing Sky. There we go. Just got to put something out there to interfere with Ness's recovery. We've seen Larry Lur do that, where he just like air dodges past Ness. Yes. Gets hit by it as an intercept. We don't see that tech at all coming out here. Oh, this is so scary for Blazing Sky. He has his back to the wall. This is tournament stock if he cannot pull off this comeback. I blinked and Blazing was at 82. Yeah, Ness has surprisingly high damage output. Okay. So does Bayonetta. But not if the uh, if the afterburner kicks don't land, that'll cost you. Well, if Blazing Sky has been saving a specific combo that'll work on Atata the way he's been DIing, now is the time to pull it out. Ooh! Oh! Whoa! It's clean, fading out the bat within, and Atata slays another Bayonetta to move on to guaranteed fifth place at Shomir Moves 18. That punished the bat within. That was clean. I'm Auto pretty cancel. sure 